let's discuss step bevels. Now in the course, I actually have a different approach to using uh, multiple levels of bevels, but this is just one you might find interesting, and although I don't use it a ton, you might actually enjoy it yourself. So let's say I have a bevel in here, right? And I have a cutter. We'll just run a cutter down here. Once again, neglect the shading. Let's run another cutter right here. Something simple, maybe clean. Okay, let's uh, say I wanted this entire thing to have the same amount of bevel, but I wanted this one to have a smaller amount. Now, I don't think this is the intended way to use step bevel, but it's how I use it personally. So uh, by default in hard ops, the booleans are positioned above the bevels. I didn't mention that before, but yeah, the modifier stack is automatically sorted. So if I want to have a different level of bevel on this cutter, I usually take this boolean, move it below the bevel so that way it's not affected, and then if we go and press Q, operations, and then click on step, this adds a new bevel at 50% the width of the last one, as you can see here. Now I personally don't do it this way, I much prefer to um, go to bevel and control shift click to add a new bevel and have more manual control over it, um, but that is what step bevel does, it's just a quick and easy way to add a bevel at 50% the width of the last one, and sometimes it just gives you more control. Uh, we won't really be using it in the course, but I figured I'd mention it because it is a crucial um, operation in hard ops.